Hey you guys, it's Mrs. MacPhail. Your learning objective or learning target today is to be able to read and write whole numbers up to the millions place using word form, standard form, and expanded form. So by the end of the video, you should feel pretty comfortable doing that. All right, let's go to the millions. It's pretty exciting. Some vocabulary if you need to be reminded. Digit meaning a number. We use 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Place value, the value of the digit in a number. So for example, in 37, we would say the value of the 3 in 37 is 30 because it is in the tens place. Standard form, we have numbers that are written out like this. If they're big enough, they have commas. You would say this number in word form, 628,371. An expanded form, we write it out in kind of like the addition way, we break it down. 600,000 plus 20,000 plus 8,000 plus 300 plus 70 plus 1. Whew. And to think we're going to the millions today. Okay, speaking of which, let's talk about writing place value with big, 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 big numbers. Our number today, 2,934,672. So if you remember, we start with our place value chart. The smaller number of the whole number, that is, is going to be on the right-hand side down here. The bigger the number, the farther left you're going to go, okay? So if we were to look at our number, 2,934,672. Let's start with our ones place value. And we know that that's the two. So I'm going to put the two in the ones place. So we have two ones. As far as tens, we have seven tens in the hundreds place we have a six meaning we have six hundreds or six hundred all right then we have our comma and we'll talk more about why later we have a comma there or how you say it when you have a comma cool little trick in the thousands place which is um, the, the digit immediately to the left of the comma the first comma that's the thousands and we have four thousands or four thousand then to the left again we have the ten thousands place and we have a three there so we have three ten thousands or we can say thirty thousand two and then another spot left we have a nine this time in the hundred thousands place marker or placeholder so we would say we have nine hundred thousands or nine hundred thousands and then take a deep breath we're gonna go left again this time we're even gonna go past another another comma wow and we have a two in the million spot this is called the millions now this is a big 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 number it's even hard for mr. nutty and mrs. MacPhail to uh, to think of in their mind um, so we would say that we have two million there so that's how you would fill out a number in a place value chart like that. Now I want to tell you a little bit more about the commas because this is kind of cool. Did you know that if you get stuck trying to name the number, um, think about the commas. At that comma, you name the group. And this is how this works. When we have big numbers, they're broken into groups um, of digits and these digits are separated by commas. These are my commas here, okay? So what happens is that we read each group of digits as though it were a separate number, but then for the large group, the name of the group is read. So for example, I'm gonna show you an example here. If I were to put our number in here, um, two million, I'm just gonna start back from where we were before. Here's my ones, my tens, my hundreds, my thousands, my ten thousands, my hundred thousands and my million. Okay, so I would say two million. The comma names the group. So two million nine hundred thirty-four thousand. So this would be the thousands group, just like this would be the millions here. Okay, two million nine hundred thirty-four thousand six hundred seventy-two. Notice there's no comma after the two, but sometimes there is something else, and we'll get there later. 
So let's take a look at some examples where we want to write the value of the digit that we have underlined. So you can see in my first example, I have the zero underlined. I would read this number 1,220,513. Since I have my zero underlined, I know that that's in the, let's see, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands place. So this would be the thousands place. But you can see I don't have any value there because I have a zero. So I would say that I have zero thousands or zero thousand as written in, uh, also, I guess you could say expanded form. If you look at the next one, 3,522,086. Notice I didn't say anything where the zero was. I didn't say 0, 086. I just said 86. There's no value in the hundreds place. My three is underlined. My three is in my ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions place. So I would say three millions, so I have a written out for you here, or numerical form in number form, you could write three million. The last one, 878,380. Seven. Do you hear me naming the big number first? 878,387. My eight is underlined. The first eight on the way left, that would be my hundred thousands place. So I would have eight hundred thousands. How would you write the number two million 934,672 in expanded form. I have it written for you in word form below, 2,934,672. Expanded form, you remember, is where we break it down by the place value, and we have uh, kind of like an addition problem. So let's start with our big number first. We have a 2 million, so I would write 2 million, Sorry, my zeros look a little funny here. Plus, I have a nine in the hundred thousands place. So I would write 900,000. Notice I'm putting my commas in. Plus, now I'm gonna move to my 10 thousands place and I have a three, so that would be 30,000, because that's my 10 thousands place. I have three ten thousands plus my thousands group or my thousands place value has a four so I have four thousands or four thousand plus let's move over to our hundreds place so I have six in the hundreds place so I have six hundreds or six hundred plus my tens place I have a seven so I have seven tens or 70 plus a two in the ones so I have two ones that would be my expanded form and if you added that all together guess what number you get your standard form number